Well, this week, Multnomah County says it will fine ambulance provider AMR for slow response times. It comes as we've been following the lackluster response times for months here on the story. And not only are ambulances often late, there have been thousands of instances this year where dispatchers do not have any ambulances available to send. Investigative reporter Evan Watson has a breakdown of what the fines would look like and AMR's latest response. But first, he answers the simple question, how did we get here? AMR hasn't met Multnomah County standards for ambulance response since March of last year. The company blames a nationwide shortage of paramedics and the county's commitment to two paramedics per ambulance. But that won't save AMR from fines. Multnomah County's contract with the company allows the county to fine AMR for poor performance. For example, AMR ambulances are supposed to get to 90% of emergency calls within eight minutes. AMR's response times have fallen off over the last year down to about 60 or 70% for compliance. Multnomah County now plans to fine AMR $10,000 per month until response times improve. The county can also fine AMR when ambulances are unavailable or take way too long to arrive, up to $500 per incident. In June, Pat Doris asked Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega-Peterson about consequences for AMR. Here's what she had to say. Multnomah County has the ability to fine AMR. Um, the previous chair you know, got briefed on that and made the decision not to fine because it was really detrimental and wouldn't do anything to improve outcomes. I've just asked our team to rebrief me on that and look at the information and to really reopen the conversation about what we can do to address you know, this crisis that we're in right now in terms of ambulance response. So clearly it's something that's serious enough that you're willing to consider finding the company. It reflects where we are right now in terms of the, um, the response times that we're seeing. I think AMR has been a really good partner over the years and, and the work that the paramedics are doing every single day is just incredible. But I think that this is a situation that we have to be um, looking at all the options. Then yesterday, Vega Peterson said she made up her mind. Fines are needed now. Frankly, my patience is exhausted. AMR's ambulance response times aren't acceptable and they haven't met performance metrics in months. And that requires that we take action. In response, AMR told us it disagrees with the county's decision. A spokesperson said AMR has tried to communicate the severity of paramedic staffing shortages to the county without much success. Meanwhile, AMR says it's doing everything it can to address staffing shortages and return to compliance. Evan joins us now. So Evan, after watching that, I can't help but think, is there anything the county can do as opposed to fining them that would actually help them improve their response time? There are two things going on right now. One of them being a pilot program for basic life support, which is actually two EMTs instead of two paramedics. They're using that for these lower acuity calls, working with AMR Multnomah County to try and find a different way forward in that system and then also the triaging at dispatch. The county started a pilot program here in the last few months too to try and triage what kind of 911 calls they get in and hopefully find some solutions there. Those are ongoing but this is separate from the fining that we're now learning about this week. And you mentioned those $500 fines every time an ambulance is extremely late or unavailable. Is that that level zero that you've been talking about? Right, that's a great question. So the, the level zero cases here, between January and June, there were more than 6,000 times when dispatchers wanted an AMR ambulance in Multnomah County and there were just none available. That's called level zero in ambulance talk. Now. That isn't necessarily congruent with the up to $500 fines for incident because it depends yeah. on how quickly an ambulance could get there. But if the county took those level in zero incidents and tracked them and pursued those, that could lead to much larger fines than just the $10,000 per month. And we'll have to see how much they'll want to enforce that moving forward. So, I mean, what happens here if AMR can't find enough staff and these slow response times continue? Well, we've been at this stalemate for months now. AMR saying, hey, we don't like the two paramedic system. Multnomah County say, hey, we believe it's the best system. You need to get your response times up. So that stalemate in, keeps going on until mm -hmm. either compliance raises or the county backs down on fines or they find some agreement. Maybe the BLS and the triaging system help incredibly and mm. that the paramedics that are on the ALS, advanced life support, uh, that they get to all these emergencies on time and that you see the response times going up, which would be great news for the citizens of the county here. But until that point, we'll have to see this push and pull and if one side gives or not. Okay, so we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. All right, Evan, thank you for your reporting. Yeah.